Samech something. I don't have much of a voice tonight, although it's better than this morning, I think, but uh, you'll excuse me, please. We are on Daf Samech Samech Hem Beis, I believe. Yes, Samech Hem Beis at the top. Okay, Samech Hey. 1.30. Okay, uh, we are at uh, Rabbi Yehuda Bar Yecheskel, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lines down. Rabbi Yehuda Bar Yecheskel Amar. Rabbi Yehuda Bar Yecheskel said, Abba, my father, his name obviously was Yecheskel, Vavarech Ha'iri Yitzchashor, make a bracha on rain, Yizkadal v'yizkadash v'yizbarach v'yizromam shimcha ma'akeinu ha'kol tipa v'tipa. Very interesting, of course, because it's the same Nisuch as Kaddish. Uh, on each and every drop shot, Mori Dlana, which you give to us, you cause to go to come down to us. Sha'at, now interesting what he would thank Hashem for. Sha'at, Mam Nion Zumizu, you prevent one from running into the other. In other words, they come down gradually. They don't come down all once because then you get cascades and terrible destruction would ensue, right? Ki, and we learn this for Apostle Ki Yigra Nit Mayim. God will detract from the flow of the water. Kedena Marta, we know that Yigra is to detract. Like it says, Vinigra Meir Kech, you detract from the value of things which are sanctified to Hektish. Om Rabbi Yudha, Rabbi Yudha said, Velo O Nali this, El Shmurid and Bermido, God brings down the rain in a measured fashion, not all flashing down in buckets, so to speak. Shemit says, Umayim Tike Mamida, God measures the rain with a measure. Rabbi Yossi Bar Yaakov, Salak Mibak Rabbi Yudha Magdalaya. Rabbi Yossi Bar Yaakov went to visit Rabbi Yudha, who lived in the city of Magdalaya. I had to have his tamad while he was still there. Nachas Mitra. Rain came down. Vesham Kole, And he heard Rabbi Yudha saying the following bracha. Omar, he was saying, Elef Alfin, thousands upon thousands, Veribe Rivavon, and tens of thousands upon tens of thousands, Chayavin Lehodos Hashim Chamakeda, we are required to thank you, your name, our God, our Kotipa Vatipa, on each and every drop, Shat Mori Dlono, that you give each and every drop that you bring down to us, Shat Gomel Tovachem, that every act of bringing down rain is an act of kindness to us who are undeserving, which is similar to Birchas Hagoyma. Amarle, he said, how do you know how know to make such a bracha? Amarle, so he said, Rabbi Simon, this is a bracha that Rabbi Simon used to make when rain used to fall. The comic Shomim Yerdu. We said in the book uh, on Amad Alf that how much rain has to fall in order to be considered to be a revia. The first rain has to be enough to make the ground uh, fertile, fertilized. So how much rain is that? Has to be enough rain to fill a vessel. Obviously, that's some sort of graduated cylinder with which they used to measure the rain. A graduated cylinder which held three tvachim, divi rabbi meir, which is a lot of rain. Rabbi Huda Omer, not that much. Bidchilo Tefach, the first rain of the season has to have a Tefach. Huvishniyash Neitvach, and the second rain of the season has to be two Tefachim. Huvishlish is in the third rain of the season, three Tefachim. So it's gradual, it builds up over time. Taner Shimon Loz Omer, Ein Lechatipa Yorim Milamala, you do not have a drop of water which comes down from on high. Shein Oretz Malek Negdo Shnei Tefachim, where the land does not rise up to greet it by two Tefachim. Which I believe means that the water table comes up as rain comes down from the heavens. So therefore, the waters underneath the earth rise in proportion to a much greater portion than the rain we see coming down. But if one sees a drop coming down, that re- in a bu- that really means that the water table rises by a significant amount more. Okay. Says more my time. Oh, where do we see the, what's the puzzle which teaches us this? To home el to home kore the deep calls to the deep the kotsi to the voice of your pipes. So when the rain is piped down, so the deep meaning the heavens which are profound call to the deep meaning the water table underneath the ground and they come towards each other. Amr Rabbi Levi, Rabbi Levi said, Hamayim el yoyinim v'scharim, the waters on high are male, v'tachtoni nekevas, and the waters down below are, are female. In other words, the waters on high are the ones which causes the one, cause the ones down below to respond in kind. Ma'atam, a Pesach teaches this, 
Tiftach Oretz, open up the land. Can the cave ourselves, like a woman, she posachas, when they have relations, who opens up, so to speak, lifnei azachar, before the male. V'yifru yasha, and then when the rain comes down, there increases salvation, zuperia v'rivya. This is multiplying and being fertile. In other words, that the rain, the water table grows in a great proportion. When rain goes down, it's as if there's a period of a review, as if there's a procreation going on. And righteousness will grow together. Again, where the water comes from the high, and the water also rises from the bottom. Because I am the God who created, I created for this purpose. In order that the world should be rec- properly correct and civilized and, and run the right way. Rabbi Yacha Tana, Rabbi Yacha said, Tana lo b'shem Rishim and Gamliel, again along the long, so the same, along the same lines, the Lomani Kroshmo, Revia, why are the rains called Revia? She rove us, or it's Revia is one of the languages in Torah, which is a euphemism for sexual relations. So therefore, the water has relations with the earth, meaning that it causes the water table again to rise and become more fruitful. And also, I guess, also it causes the earth to grow as well, you know, that things grow out of the land as a result of the uh, rain coming down. Okay, we're on the second wide line on that for Sama Chema base. Um, ra- ra- uh, oh, third wide line. Rachina by Yaka. B'shem Rabbi Shime, B'shem Rabbi Yehuda said, Shor Sheikhita, Boking Bar Tchamishimamo. The roots of the wheat plant grew, go into the land 50 amos deep. Shor Sheikhita, Rakim, even the soft roots of a fig tree, Boking Batsur, they crack open rocks. Tanner Shor Lazomer, Eino Oget, Shreisa Lefi Chisuma. We have a problem that we say that the earth does not drink in the waters except on the very top level. That was the waters don't go deep into the ground. If that's the case, it came Maz Yasu, Sharshe Haruv, Mayasu, Sharshe Shikma. What do the roots of the, the carob or the sycamore tree do, which go deep into the ground? Where are they going to get their waters from? So it says the Gemara, Om Rabbi Chanina, Achas Lushleshim Yom, once every 30 days, to Homo Le Mashkel, so the deep comes up, the water table rises and causes them to have what to. Uh, to drink. My timer, what is the puzzle that teaches us this? Ani Hashem no try, I'm God who safe keeps it. Le goyim, at moments, in other words, roi goyim meaning once every month, a moment of the month, Ashkena, I will give them water to drink. So I guess, uh, I'm not sure exactly how we learn this going to our na- no- modern understanding of scientific phenomena, but I assume that it means that the water table is not necessarily up to the de- de- deepest roots, all, uh, to, uh, up to the roots of the trees all the time. It rises and falls from month to month, depending, I guess, on tidal conditions. I'm just guessing. And depending on rainfall, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, there's enough rise in the water table every at regular intervals to provide trees with enough water to for nourishment. We don't know it for sure. We just mean that we know it's a moment which returns, you know, from time to time. So we don't know once every thirty days. It's just you know a customary shear of regularity in uh, in 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 the Gemara. But is it exactly that? I can't tell you for sure. Um, Rabbi, um, Rabbi Zira. Rabbi Zira said, getting back to the original topic, which is Brachis, Tani Taman, we learned over there, Ra Zobom, if you see that cheap prices are coming to the world, Ra uh, Vesova Balom, it says satisfaction is coming to the world, Nar Maspik Medina, you see that the river will have enough water to irrigate the country, Oimeh Baruch Hatavamet, you say, bless is God who is good and does good. Amulo Meis Aviv, if your father dies, Rachman Lutzlan, Omer, you say, Baruch Thanemis, blessed is the just judge. Meis for Risho, if your father dies, but leaves you large inheritance, then you make Thanemis, but you also make Hatova Meitiv. God has given you good resources, and you will be able to use them as well. Sure, we do. Absolutely. Is this a large inheritance? Yes. Mega Baruch Hatova Meitiv. Absolutely, definitely. Okay? <laughs> After you pay the estate taxes. Vana is Chadash. Vikana Kaelin Chadashim. 
you buy a new house and you be, or, or you uh, you uh, you build a new house or you buy new vessels. Army say Baruch should yarn as man as that. Mevarech al Ramein atov you bake a brach on bad things, dynamis even if good will come of them. In other words, the case we had before perhaps is uh, actually well, Pnei Moshe brings down another case here. Pnei Moshe says a case where right now you have suffered a tremendous flood, even though you'll have better crops next year as a result because of all the rich sediment which is now lying under your field. This year it's bad, so this year make a dynamis, even though next year it'll be good for you. Right now it's bad. So if a bad thing happens, even though a good thing will spring from it, you make a dynamis, and vice versa. If you have a toiva, a toiva main raw. If you have a bad thing, which from which a good thing, which will from which bad will spring, such as you got a large gift, but you're, the government will find out and throw you in jail for it. So in that case, you make uh, you make a dynamis now, even though you are toiva mative. Even though later you might have to make a dynamis on it. Okay? About Tzorik Lashavar, if one davens about something which already has occurred, I raise it to Lashav, this is a, uh, 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 what's a good translation? Uh, a, uh, irrelevant, uh, what? Uh, yeah, prayer in vain. Right, prayer in vain. Kate said, what's an example? I saw Ishtu Mavaris if your wife was pregnant. Vormir, you say, oh, ye kotzer shetel ishti zachar, may it be a male. I raise it for the because it's after the fact. Uh, I have a Derek, you came down the highway, Vishama kotzer zachar, but you're near shouting in the city. Vormir, you say, you're at so shlo yebisov base, you say, may it be God's will, it's not in my house. I raise it for the is to pray in vain, because whatever has happening happened already, so what are you davening for? Okay, I'm Rebbe Chia Barba. Low self davar chadashim is not just true if you bought new objects. El afilu shechokim. If you bought used objects, you make a brach of shechi. I don't kill him chadashim low because they are new for him. They're as if they're new for him. So if you buy a used car, even though it's used for you, it's new. You would make a shechi and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh huh. The thing is, you have to be besimch. That's the thing. You have to enjoy it. In other words, if you buy a jalopy, yeah, a lemon, then of course you're not going to make the brach on it, right? So everything is a little bit relative, but yes, theoretically you've made the brach. Nitan lo, if you give God as a gift, I, I'm sorry, skip. Rabbi Yaakov Razafti, Bishop Rabbi Chir, Rabbi Omar Kona, when you buy the, uh, 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 when you buy something, Omer Baruch Shachem Kimon Vianos Manaze, Nilmat Nitan Lo, if it's given to you as a gift, Omer Baruch Hatov Ametiv. That's interesting. Make a tov Ametiv in that case because you derive a benefit, but also the person who gave you the gift derived benefit. So if it's given to you as a gift as opposed to a sale and be he enjoyed giving it to you, and therefore he make a toiv amativ to recognize that not just you derive benefit here, but he derive benefit as well. Uh, of course, I told to Rus to allow him to, to give stock. Right, to that's to say. Yes, yeah, so, that's right. That's uh, that's our attitude nowadays in Kailos. It's a big schus for everybody to give us money to sit and learn. Somehow we don't get enough anyway, but we try. All right, love us regarding what you wear. You wear new clothing. Omer, you say vavorech malbish arumim. The uh, I skip. No. Lo, oh yeah, I did. Rabbi Ba, Rabbi Ba, Rabbi Ba, Vud, Rabbi Ba, Mori, B'Shem Rav Achel said the same thing. He just added something at the end. Kana, when you buy, Omer Baruch Shek Yaros Manaseh. Nitin Lo, if you give it to you, it's given to you as a gift. Omer Baruch Hatov Ametim. Lavash Begadim, when you put on new clothes, you bought them ready, made Shek Yaros, and when you bought them, when you put them on, Omer Baruch Ma'al B'Sharumim. Right, that's the bracha which we say in the morning. So you say whenever you put on a new garment, not just when you get up in the morning. Okay? Says the Gemara further. Now, here we have fascinating brachas, which we don't make, but the Ushalmi had them. Host a sukkah when you make a sukkah for yourself, we're on top of Sam of Ralph now. Host a sukkah so he makes a sukkah for himself, Omer, Baruch Hashem, Kisham, Tzotzov, Tzvonu, Lasso, Sukkah. New bracha, right? Not only that, La Cherim. If you make a sukkah of somebody else, you say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Elkin Melchlam, Hashem, Hashem, Tzavah, Tzavah, La Sos Lo Sukkah Lishmo. To make a sukkah for Yankel. 
or for whoever. You make a bracha for him, making a sukkah for him. When you go into the sukkah, that we do have, right? Once you make the brach on it the first night, however, you don't have to make any subsequent nights because Yushalmi holds there's only one brach on sukkah all seven days. Because Yushalmi holds since the, you could have mitzvah of sukkah at night, just like during the day, there's no break in the midst of sukkah all seven days, and so the brach of the first night works for all seven days. That's Yushal Mishita by Sukkah. By Me'ata, from here we do deduce, Hosa Lulav Lats, where you make a Lulav for yourself, Omer Borach Hashem, Kedisham, Tzal, Sava, Tzivar, Lasas Lulav. Lacher, if you made it for somebody else, Lasas Lulav Lishmo. You make a Shem, Kedisham, Tzal, Lasas Lulav Lishmo. Shun Lo, when you pick it up on Sukkah, Omer Al Natilas Lulav, Vasher Achiyanu, and Mevarach Bechol Shah Vishal Shun Lo, by Lulav, since there is no mitzvah night, so each day is an independent mitzvah. So every day when you pick it up, you make a new bracha. Ha'osa mezuzah latmo. You write a mezuzah. Omer lasos mezuzah. Now, we, I know we're not so from here, but they don't make this bracha. Okay? Kshlacha lacha, if you're making a mezuzah for somebody else, lasos mezuzah lishmo. Kshu kovea, when you fix it to your door, Omer borcha shekisham tzavetzvaro al mitzvah's mezuzah, which is not the bracha we make either. We make... Likbar mezuzah, that's right. Hosa Tfil Nat, which is you, it's from the Bavli, Menachos, which argues. Hosa Tfil Natsmo, the Chule, Lacher, the Chule. The Gemara got tired of spelling it all out, so it just says, same idea about Tfilin. Kshu Love Shom Ram, it's a Tfilin. We put on your make on Mitzvah Tfilin. We don't say that. We say what? Laniach Tfilin, right. Hosa Tzitzis Latsmo, Omer, the Chule, Lacher, the Chule, Nisate, the Chule. Same thing by Tzitzis. Again, we. We don't make brachas where we make tefillin, where we make tzitzis. No bracha. You can make a shachion if he feels happy, but you know, no bracha on it. Um, says, actually, I don't know if you make a shachion on that. I take that back. I don't think so. But I don't know. You'd have to ask the cipher for sure. Hatoyim va meiser. If you take up trumas and meisers, I may baruch Hashem Hashem itself to one of the shuma meiser. Lacher, if you do it with somebody else, Lafish Shumer, my Slishmo, take up Shumer, my Slishmo, in his name. Hashaychet, if you're doing Shkita, Tzor, Levarak, Bruch, Hatzor, Shemel, Kedem, Echolam, Hashem, Hashem, Tzor, Tzivano, Ala, Shkita. When Mechas, if you're coming, the blood, Omer, Aki, So, Yadam. Make a Bruch, and Kis, Yadam. Hamol, somebody does a Bris, Milo, the Moel. Tzor, Levarak, Bruch, Hashem, Hashem, Tzor, Tzivano, Amilo. Avi Abain, the father of the father's son, says, and this is the way our, our minig is too, Baruch Hashem, Kishem, Tzosav, Tzivano, Lach Niso, Bivri, Sosh, Lach, Ram, Avinu. Ha'om, Dim, Shom, the people who stand there, Tzrichim, Loma, they have to say, Kishem, Sheikh, Nasto, Lebris, just like you brought him to the bris, Ketach, Niseo, Lator, Lchupa, and the Groads, on the Maisim, Tzavim. Now, I like the Ushami, it's Gershom, much better than what we say. We say Kishem Shen Nichnas Lebris Kani Kainz the Torah Chupa Lemaisim Toivim, but that doesn't give a bracha to the father. You're giving a bracha to the father that he should be Zaycha himself to raise his children and bring them into Torah Chupa Lemaisim Toivim. So it seems like a much nicer nusach. I don't know why we don't do it. Hamivarech when he made the bracha the priest Torah Levarech. I don't think this bracha is in the Bav in the Bavli, but this is the bracha we make. Baruch Hashem Kidesh did me better and v'chok v'shero Psalm. So we do make this bracha at a bris mila. Mitzvos a mosai mevarech We are on 131. Samech vav amid aleph. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten lines on the bottom. Okay, I'm hoarse. Move in. Sit there, it's fine. Sit here if you want to do it. Mitzvah's ve'am mosayim avarech aleim. Mitzvah's, when do you make the brach on them? Rabbi Yochamir, over last year, is where we pass him. Before you do the bracha, before you do the mitzvah, you make the bracha. Ravuna me'am b'shasas yosan. But it says, no, while you're doing the mitzvah, which is not the way we pass him. When the mitzvah is in progress, you make the bracha, not beforehand. 
Asiyad Ravuna Kashmul. Ravuna is like Shmuel. Dhamma Rabbi Yosi Be Rabun. Rabbi Yosi and Rabbi Yosi's son Rabun said, Bishem Shmuel name Shmuel called Mitzvah Stunas Bracha. All Mitzvah Jukar Bracha Bishas Asiyasan. Why are you doing them? With three exceptions. Chutz, Samachva 131. Chutz with three exceptions. Chutz me Tikiyah, blowing shofar. Blowing shofar, you're afraid you won't get out the coal, so you make the bracha afterwards, according to Ravuna, not before. Tvila, you can't make the bracha before, you're a guy. You make the bracha after the tvila. Or your tummy, it's not proper, you make the bracha afterwards. And, Vyeshorim, some say Kiddushin Bivila. If you're having, if you're being, the three ways in order by which to enact a marriage, right? Money, documents, and marital relations. So, having, so if you want to enact a marriage through marital relations, you can't, you can't make the brach on the marriage before it, because maybe the relations won't go. Maybe she won't agree. Maybe it won't be, uh, be consummated properly. So therefore, in that case, you make the bracha afterwards. There's another case. Now, although Tfilin Shoyad, you make the bracha while the Tfilin is on your hand, and that's okay. That's like Ravuna said. You make the bracha before you take it off while it's still on. However, the Shorosh, the Tfilin Shorosh, you have to make the bracha on the Tfilin Shorosh before you put it on. Yeva means before you band it on. Yeva is a band in Aramaic. So before you band it on, why is that? Because the Ushami holds, there's only one bracha by Tfilin. Right? Like the Svartim. There's only one bracha. Which bracha is that? Laniach Tfilin. So when do you make that bracha? Why you have the Tfilin Shoyan on? That's true. But it's before, therefore by definition it precedes the bracha on Tfilin Shorosh. Because the bracha on Tfilin Shorosh is already the bracha tefillin shayar which you made to begin with and you put on tefillin shayar so this is one of the cases which be an exception according to Ravuna where the bracha here precedes the mitzvah you're doing now it's interesting this next line is the case which the mashbiach the rabbi from Pittsburgh brings in the introduction from his in it to his Gemara proving that his sefer is essential to understanding Yushami because he says nobody understood this line before he came along. And now the Yushami says, Lo Yeva mean the Yeva ha Yeva. Says these words are unintelligible. So he says, the last one, is that there are two words which are misspelled here. The first word in the there says Yeva four times in the line. The first time it says Yeva should be with an Aleph. And the last time it says Yeva should also be an Aleph. And he says, this line of Lo Yeva min Dieva, who Yeva, Yeva, was written, inserted into Yushami later by some Talmud, by some student of the Yushami. And he was saying it was his personal note to himself, which eventually got mixed into the text. And what he had written to himself is, this word, Achalo Yeva, is Yeva with an Aleph, not Yeva with a Hey. Because Yeva with an Aleph means be about. Yeva with a hey means something else. We don't know exactly what it might mean before before something comes. A chveis. So therefore, this guy, the Talmud wrote in. It said in the in the Yushami only v'sharosh atchlo yeva. So the Talmud wrote in lo yeva mean di yeva, not yeva with the word yeva with a hey. Ha, rather yeva with an alf. That's how the Mashbiach translates the line. Now, truth is. Everybody else has no translation for this. There's no otherwise the line is not, not intelligible. I don't know. I give him a shbiach a ten in creativity. I'm not sure what mark I give him in Emmis. But it's not bad. You gotta admit it's not bad. Okay? <clears throat> not, a, not that I'm aware of. It's it's a word which mis, which mystified everybody here. Most people translate it as Yavo. Uh, but for, yeah, but so it's not, it has a double U that's really not in the same same pattern. But in any event, you're invited to try your luck at it. Okay? Step up to the plate and give a shot. <laughs> well, it's, it might be a separate mitzvah, but the bracha is the same bracha, yes. It is a separate mitzvah. The Ram says, no, it is, it is. The Ram says, the two separate mitzvahs in the Tariyak. 
Tefillin Shriya and Tefillin Shrosh are two separate mitzvahs. Yeah, that's definite, yes. Okay, Shechita Oimas Mevarech Olei. Shechita, when you make the bracha, Rabbi Yochan Amar Ovel Yishchot, before Yishchot. Rabbi Yesi Ben Neroi Amar Mishri Yishchot. After Shechita. Well, why did Yesi Ben Neroi say this? Shem Atis Naba Shechita also. Because maybe the Shechita will, will be messed up and therefore be a bracha of Atala. Meato, so that's the case. Don't make the shchit. Don't make the bracha mishita because you might until you check the trach and esophagus to see if they were shechted properly. So tomorrow, no. Ches kas I'm sorry, not the trach and esophagus. Until you check the lung. Until you check the lung to see if the lung is is kosher. That's why ches kas bnei meayim kshirim. Most the, the the most lungs are assumed to be kosher. So how we check them is the chumra, but most lungs are assumed to be kosher. What? No, no, we still assume most of them are kosher, but uh, the thing is that we check it because Chazaw or Machmir said to check it anyway. Certain probably, certain meat companies which remain nameless, I'm sure they still rely on this growth. Okay, says the Gemara. Uh, Tani, how do we know this is true? Because it says, Shachta, Benotla, Zevi, Me'el. If you shechted an animal and wolves came and took its its uh, vital organs, Kshera, you ju- you, uh, um, you don't you 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 assume that's kosher. You can eat the animal. I the choshes shem on nikva. I why are we afraid? Maybe they had a hole in them. Rabbi Bo b'shem Rabbanon said the top b'shem Rabbanon tamon. Rabbi Bo in the name of the rabbis and Bava said b'nei me'ayim cheskos kosher. We assume that the lung and vital organs are kosher. If it's this, we're machmir to check them lechatchila. But b'diavad we don't have to check them, and therefore you can make the bracha on shchita even according to the shita which says you have to make it afterwards. You can make it. Before you check the inner organs. And it's okay. We assume that the animals, that the wolves made the holes and they weren't there to be with. That's Mamish our case. Over a year old, right? Why over a year old? No, even veal calves are mostly kosher. All animals are considered to be mostly kosher. Doesn't matter. It, it's not considered to be trade before that. It's not a problem. Okay. Says Mar Piska. Getting back to the next issue in our Mishnah. It says, I had so ache Lashover of Sunday Davins on Sunday, which already occurred. It's a broad fill in vain. The base Yanai Omer. Now in the house of Yanai, they wanted to modify this. They um, said, Omer, when can't you have to change the gender of your unborn char- unborn child? But only if your wife is already sitting in labor. That's the case the mission is talking about. But if it's before labor, you can still have to change the gender. It's a big chiddush. Omar, you the ben pasi, av yosheves hamash beria cholishtanos. Even if she's sitting in labor, she can still she can still change. You can still change the gender. Al shame, as it says, he ne kachor me biada yoitzer. The human body is like putty in the hands of the uh, craftsman. The body. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So therefore, you can even dom when your wife is in labor. To change the gender of the kid, which is an amazing concept. Uh, so Rabbi um, Rabbi 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 B'shein of Esiana said, "Ikor ibor shel Dino Zacharai." As we well know, Medrash Dino, the daughter of Leah, was conceived as a male. Right? You remember that, Yankel? Dino was. She was raped. I remember. No, 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 no. She was conceived by. That's true. But she was conceived by by Leah as a male. Then she changed midstream. Malchus is follow Rachel once Rachel. Oh, so now you know. Malchus is follow is follow Rachel once Rachel davened that she should have another boy. Yosef Hashem li ben Acher. Then Hashem changed the changed the gender of Dina from a male to a female. Okay. Uh, not that, not not that I recall, but uh, it, it's it is known that in Kabbalah, males can be come back as Gilgulim and females. According to the Kabbalistic schools, there's deal with Gilgulim. Males can come back as females and vice versa.
Well, the Magomed charm uses that to explain why is it that Tamar has difficulties conceding, because she had a male neshama. Also, she was married for 10 years before. Yeah, well, that's, uh, I, I guess that's part of that, right? Uh, that it's possible to have male neshamas in female bodies, and vice versa. Okay, says the Gemara, eh, hodohi, and that's that which it says, vachar yolda bas vatikor shmodino. And afterwards, she gave birth to a daughter, and she called her name, uh, uh, Dino, so um, I guess the Vachar means after the change inside the womb. Me'achar shenispa'alua, no, after Rochel Davin, excuse me, Me'achar shenispa'alua Rochel, after Rochel Davin, Nasa is the cave, Dino became a female. For I'm ready to be in Paz, ready to be in Paz, it's a B'Shem V'Vais Rabbi Yana, in the name of the house of Rabbi Yana, Imenu Rochel, our mother Rochel, in the V'Yos Rishon, so I thought it was from the early prophetesses. Omra, she said, Od Acher Yemeni, Ben Acher, not Bonim Acherim, one more son. Hado, deceive that that's what it says, Yosef Hashem Li Ben Acher, may God give me another son. Bonim Acherim, Omra, she didn't say plural, El Od Acher Yemeni, one. Hado, but Baba there, so you're coming home from a trip and hear great shouts in the city. So to feel in vain to daven that it shouldn't be from your house. But what should you say? You have to shabi tachon. Omer, but tu achani shenei lo besoch beisi. I'm sure these are not in my house. So it says you shouldn't be afraid. You should be secure that Hashem knows what He's doing. And shabi tachon. So I saw one of the achronim says that the pshat is. It's talking about you should say. Oh, these. Sh- this is not pshat, but this is what he says. Pshat. I, I should say. Oh, these sounds like drunken. Uh, cries. In my house, people don't drink. So therefore, I don't have to be afraid that this coming from my house. Hello, Zaki, no, Mary says, Mishmur, Ra, Lo, Yir, Shabi, Tachan, if you hear bad things, you shouldn't be afraid. Okay. Hanich, that's the crack. You come into the city, Mispalo, Shtayim, you dive in two tefillos. Achas, Bikni, Sosa, once when you come into the city, Achas, Bitsi, Yosa, once when you leave the city. Benazi, Omer, Benazi says, Omer, Arba, you dive in four tefillos. Shtayim, you also tie it to any way in, Shtayim, Bitsi, Yosa, to your way out, the Gmar will say what they are. Benosa, Adol, Shorva, you always give thanks on the past, Vishtoik, Alos, you love, and you ask for the future. Nichnas the Krach. Now we're going to explain our Mishnah. When you come to the city of Baruch Shtayim, you make two brachas. What are they? Ma'u Omer. Ha'achas b'kneso v'achas v'yasu. When you come in and when you leave. B'kneso so ma'u Omer. When you come in, what do you say? Yichot tzom v'nech Hashem v'lukai 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 v'l I thank you that you took me out of the city in peace. Ben Azay Omer of our star, but you make our four brachas. Shtay with the sauce and so to when you come in, Shtay with the sauce and so when you come out. Bikh ni sauce, when you go into Omer, you say, You will tell me that Hashem will give you a sigh. Shetak, you say the crowds of Shlomi, you take me to the city in peace. Nichlas, when you get into the city, Omer, you say, Moida, and you will tell me that Hashem will give you a sigh. Shetak, Nas, you will tell me that you came in in peace. Kenny, you will tell me that Hashem will give you a sigh. May be a will that you take me out. Out of here in peace as well. Kshiyotso, when you leave the city, Oimer Yin say, Yotso Menech Hashem Elokai, Shetot Tzien Mikrach Zoshlomi, you take me out of the city in peace. Yotso, when you are out, Oimer Yin say, Modani Fenech Hashem Elokai, Yotso Sani, Yotso Sani, Lasholom, I thank you that you took me out of peace. Kain Yotso Menech Hashem Toli Chaylu Beit Zoshlomi, should take me to my home in peace. Olamar, completion wherever he is going in peace. Hadadamar, now this is all, all these brothers you have to make, when Maduro Zakum, when you go to the south side of Chicago. I will be slowly over, but if it's a Jewish city, where only Jews live, you don't have to make such a bracha. You may have mock them, but if they're, if they're, they're murderers there. Now, they're not Jewish murderers. No. Right, people who come in and murder people, right? So even in the Jewish areas, like the settlements or whatever, like the, 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 uh, the Shtachim, Yudan, Shamon, or whatever, so then you make a bracha. Um, you make the, the these philos and hodos nonetheless tzarek lemarich. Nichlas beis hakise. When you go to the bathroom, before shtay, you make two brachas as well. Achas b'nikni sasa, one on the way in. Achas piyotsa, one when you go out. Another one on the way in. We don't make any more because it implies gaiva, as we will see in a minute. B'nikni sasa, ma'omer. When you go in, what do you say? Kivdu lochikavu lochem luchubanim. Honor to you, the honored ones. 
Mishrasi and Kodesh, the holy servants. Derek Heretu, this is the way of the land. Panu Derek, therefore, stay out of the way. Barak Kelakovod, blessed is the God of honor. Now, this, you're talking to the Gemara assumption that all Jews are accompanied by Malachim. And therefore, you go into the bathroom. You tell them, Malachim, okay, you guys wait outside. So we don't do that anywhere because we say it's Gaiva for a person to assume that he's accompanied by Malachim wherever he go. So his brach has fallen into disuse. Uh, this tefillah. But this one we still have. When you come out, you say, what? Well, you know, on a Friday night. Yeah, well, okay, true, but that's... Yeah. But that's a special club, a special for Friday night, not the rest of the week. The rest of the week they don't come. Uh, when you come out, when you say, Baruch Hashar Yotzer, Sodom Bechachma, you make an Hashar Yotzer. Nichas Amerchats, when you go into a bathhouse, Mispal Stein, that may say to you two tefillos, Achas Bikni Sosa, Vachas Biosa, one on your way in and one on your way out. Bikni Sosa, my woman, you have to bear in mind their bathhouses, the way they were constructed in the old days, of course, is that they used to have floors like this. The floors had fires underneath, which is to heat up the floor. And that's how the water used to remain hot. So therefore, what happened very frequently in these bathhouses is collapse, in which case you die. So therefore, they make a bracha b'knisaso. Now, when you go in, what bracha? What what, what field do you say? Here, tell me, Nechol Shem Lokai, Shetat Zleim Yisrael Vasayich, save me from the fire of the the, the burning of the fire, as the coming damage of the hot water, mina mapolis, and from collapses. Valyera Davanavshi. And may nothing happen to my soul. Vimyara, if it happens, take Sasi Kapara Kalavanosai. May my death be a a a, a, a atonement for all my sins. Start saying me soon, Machayetim Elasi Lavo. Save me from this incident, from any subsequent possible future incident. Shiyetim, when you leave, you Omer, you say Mo Dani Lefanel Shem Lokai Shid Zaltani Minora. Thank you for saving me from the fire. Omer Rabbi Avraham said, "Hadoa Marto, these this feel is Merkel Chini Sogas in a bathhouse which is heated from underneath the floor. Our Merkel Chini so it's not heated from underneath the floor. They just pour hot water into a basin. So then, Enoi Mer Elamez the Chaim Varoi says, 'Stay save me from the scalding hot water.'" Rabbi Chuk and Rabbi Simon, B'Shem, Rabbi Yeshua, and Levi said, Tfilos HaMerchatz Eina Tuna Amida, when you make this tefillah, you don't have to stand. This is a shocking thing. It led me to realize something which I never realized before. Oh, and you, you might argue with me at first, but think about the veracity of the statement. All tefillos, which we daven, are standing. <laughs> Anything which is a bona fide tefillah, we stand for. We sit for birchos kriyashma because they're not tefillos. They're brachos anishma. We sit for psukid zimra because they're not tefillos. They're praises of God. We stand for the amida because it's a tefillah. Anything which is a tefillah, we have to stand for. Even tefillos are there. That which we sit, we become so accustomed to sit, it's really not supposed to. Supposed to stand up for feels there, just we normally say in a car and an airplane, in a so it's not possible. But you're supposed to stand up for any tefillah which you daven. It's not a tefillah. You stand anywhere. There are other parts. It's not a contradiction. There might be other things you stand for. Right. Everything you feel you stand for, but not everything you stand for is a feel. That's why probably there's a minute to stand for Chazaras or Shatz. Because that's a tefillah. It's true, it's not your tefillah, but it's a tefillah of the seaboard. Very few. That's the point. Shimon Esri is called Tefillah, and it's called, and it's called the Amida, because that's really one of them. There are actually very few Tefillahs that we daven. In the Yushami, we see the plenty of Tefillahs, but that we daven, there are actually very few. Yes, that's correct. But for anything which is called the Tefillah, one really, Lechat Tefillah, has to stand. No, he's right. There, are very, there aren't any other examples of ones which we regularly daven. 
But now, let's say you make up your own tefillah, which you're davening to Hashem, so it's proper to stand when you're being mispalo. That's what we see here. Okay? How it might be a tefillah? I'm not sure. It's a shevach. You're right. There are very few things that are actually tefillahs, if you think about it. But for anything which is a tefillah, it says you have to stand. Okay? It's a different perspective on it, right? Which I wouldn't, didn't realize before I read this. Oh, sure. It might be a tefillah. That's right. Whatever is a tefillah, you have to stand for a kaddish. My God, it's Tfila. I believe so. It's a request. Any which is a request is a Tfila. Kaddish is the Iskadal, the Iskadash. No. No. It's sure we're asking God's name to be sanctified. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> now give me a translated sitter. No, 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 no. Yeah, was that an article on the uh, on the over there? Is that an article there? I want to translate it Okay, I admit that the translation of the art scroll might not be proof. May his great name grow exalted and sanctified in the world that he created. May he give rain. May his great name be blessed. This is a tefillah. First of all, it's his body. So, you know, it doesn't say... It's not his body. It's yit, yit It's future tense. It's right. It's peace file, but in future tense. God, of course, praised unto Himself. We're asking God to enhance His praises. There's no other way to dive in for it, but this is a tefillah to Hashem. I don't know. I don't see how you can quibble with this. Okay, you. Uh, 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 so certainly the end. Also, Shlom Yirmoma of the Yasser Shlom Malein. I mean, this whole Tiskabel flow sort of Vaus on the whole base. So this is all. This, you know what? That might be the difference also between Kaddish Yosem and Kaddish. Uh, I, maybe I'll um, I'll make a, a compromise. You might, might not want to compromise, but Kaddish Kaddish Sholem and Kaddish Yosem. Kaddish Sholem, the minig is everybody stands, even Sfardim stand. Kaddish Yosem, not everybody stands. I believe that that's the case. I'm not sure. I might be wrong about that. But could be maybe he's got... So you have to agree that this Kabbalah's low son of Osun the Chobi Yisro is a tefillah. It's part of... It's, it's a chasima of all our tefillahs which came till then. Yeah. Even for Kaddish Yisro? Uh, I thought that maybe Kaddish Yosem. All right. Anyway. I, I, my right now my contention is that it has its feel and we'll see uh, what happens later. Lamaisa, the person has to stand. Lamaisa, even a great spy, the person who says it has to stand. That's for sure. The question is the attendees. Okay, let's go further. Let's make a wrong and bad thing. Scripture for Otav is just made both some good things. Shneimer says, "So I have to Hashem because He says, 'Say you should love God your Lord, b'chol avav chol with all your heart, b'chol nafsh chol b'chol your soul, b'chol mo'odecha.' Meaning, b'chol avav chol with all your heart, b'shnei tzor with your bow with both of your yitzur horas, with both the yitzurs, yitzur atol yutov yitzur hara." Bechol nafshko with all of your soul, feel nice nafshko, even it takes your life. Bechol modecho, bechol momoncho with all of your money. Dabrach, no interpretation. Bechol modecho. Bechol mida umida shumodet loch. When every uh, uh, type of ke- uh, uh, be, uh, of uh, relationship which she has with you, whether it's good or bad, heavy moida lo mod mod, thank you very much. Loyaku lot of social connection charm is a person should not be frivolous when he's opposite the eastern gate of the base of Mikdash. Shumukhuven Kne base Kotche Kotchim because that gate corresponds directly to the Holy of Holies. 
by his person shouldn't enter into the Temple Mount, Bimaklo with his rod, Biminolo with his shoes, Pipundoso with his wallet, Bavakshara glove with the dust on his feet, Flea Senu Kapandari shouldn't take a shortco through the Arbais, or Kikumikavakom, and certainly you cannot spit there, that's a Kavakomer. Whenever they used to say a broch, they would say, would say, Bruch Atar Shem Lokeinu Melech Olam, Min Olam, from the world. We thank God from this world. Mishakilkula Minim, once the Apikorsi came along and said, Omru Eino Olam Melech, they said there's only one world, there is no Olam Abba. So it's Kiyosh Omri Min Olam Va'ad Olam. From one world to the other world, in other words, to re- to to manifest the fact that there are two worlds. Vizkino, they also made a takona. Sheyu ayeh adam sholo sholo shlom chaver b'shem. Person always greet his friend with the name of God. Shneimer says we need boss money. We slag a boss can we slag a vayermel the kosim. He said to the harvesters, Hashem alchem may God be with you. Vayermel it says that that uh, the malach said to Gidon, Hashem imchal gibra chayil God may God be with you, the mighty warrior. Vayermel it says our troubles do not mock these minhagim kizkenei mecha even if they cut your mother's old. In other words. Don't mock that which is a Messiah, even if it doesn't come from the Torah itself. The Torah doesn't say to be shol, shol and b'shem. It's a takana of this Canaan, Boaz, who's called the Imecho here. Don't mock it just because it was made by Boaz and not made by the Torah itself. Okay? Furthermore, it says there's a time to do for God when they've made your Torah uh, 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 they've ru- wrecked your Torah. Rabbi Nosson dies and says, "Hey, Pharaoh Torah Secha." There's a time when one is allowed to wreck the Torah when it's eight slash Hashem. When it's a time when one must do special things for God. No, it's really it wasn't proper to say Hashem's name in a greeting on a mundane level to your friend. It wasn't a proper thing. It's a little bit of degrading to the name of God. But it was an Esla, Sosla, Hashem. It was a time when they had to do special things to bring Yura Shamayim back into this world. So therefore, at a time like that, you're allowed to do something which is a little bit like Hafaras Atar, like wrecking the previous standards of Torah, if it's for a beneficial purpose. That's the same method which is which was used in order to do what? The same method of Esla, Sosla, Hashem, Feretosech was used for what? To, to write down Torah Shabbat to write down Torah Shabbat Peh Sasso Sasha and Feru Torah Sasha Mara Gittin Daf Samach okay said because they were going to forget it I it's also to write it down Eight Sasso Sasha okay Rabbi Brechim Shem Rabbi Levi said what do we greet them with? Hashem Machem. Hashem Machem, right. We in you know, the Sephardis say that in the beginning of the they call up the Torah. Hashem Machem. We say instead of that Shalom Aleichem nowadays. But uh, the uh, the uh, the originally was Hashem Machem, and uh, yeah, there are there are certain places where they still use that. You said it, not me. Okay. Says the Lord further. Uh, you are lofty forever, God. Your hand is always on high. Meaning that you always are doing the right thing. How so? Normally, it's a custom world. Melch boss of Adam. A human king, Yeshua of Adam, sits in judges. Shunos the demons, when he grants people mercy, I call him a Kalsino, so everybody prays him. Shunos it's Bakula, when he issues a sentence for death or uh, some sort of penalty, I call him Rani Machlav, everybody complains after him. Lama, why? She's shut up, Adino. He's too, uh, too. Uh, to driving in his judgment. In other words, we don't like what he does. Of course, Baruch came, but God is not like that. And we have to recognize that. We have to recognize you always laugh to you. Your hand is always proper, properly and high. And that's our Mavorech HaLorak Hashem Shavarech HaMalatov. In order to show God, we appreciate that that which he does, it seems to be bad for us, is also for good for us. Rabbi Huna B'Shem Rabbi Yacho said, 
L'david Mizmar, we're proof for this. The apostle which says, for praise for God, Chesed Mishpat Hashira Lecha Hashem Hashem Azamara. Pre- judgment, uh, mercy and judgment, I will sing to you, Hashem, and I will praise you. All my David, the Akash Baruch, David says before Hashem, Im Chesed to say me, if you do Chesed with me, Hashir, I'll sing. If you do for me judgment, also a shira. Regardless of it's this way or that way, La Hashem Azamira to God alone is give praise. Alright, Tanchon ben Yehuda, Belokim Ahalel Davar, another pasuk with the same import. In, in the Lord I will give praise. By Hashem Ahalel Davar, in God I will give praise. We know, of course, Elokim is what Mida, Midas, Elokim. Mida Sadin. Hashem is what Mida? Mercy. Mida Sarachi. Hey, you had to, to get it right the second time, right? So uh, so we learned. Bein Amida Sadin, Bein Amida Sarachamim, whether it's an ju- attribute of judgment or mercy, Allel Davar, will thank God for this thing. Rabbanan Amin, Rabbanan Darshan, Kosh Yeshua says so, Shem Hashem Ekra. A cup of Jewish salvation I'll lift up and call the name of God. So of yoga and so of Shem Hashem Ekra. A cup of, um, I'm sorry, pain and anguish I'll find and still I'll call the name of God. Um, Rabbi Yudha Ben Pila, Rabbi Yudha Ben Pila said, that's what Yom says. Hashem Nosan, God gave, Hashem Lokan, and God took. He is Shem Hashem Varach Bel, blessed is the name of God. Shem Nosan, when he took, when he gave, he gave with mercy. Shem Lokach, Brach, and Lokach, and when he took, he took with mercy. For the Lord, not only that. Interesting theological point we're about to see now. Look at this. When Hashem gives, He doesn't ask anybody's advice. He just gives. However, the way He takes Nimlach Beisino, the way God created the Bria, is that He limited Himself. That's part of the, the concept of Tzimtzum. God limited Himself that to impose judgment he only imposes with the participation of the base in Shamala, which is according to our tradition comprised of the tzaddikim of previous generations who went to the Olam Ames. so therefore God gives unilaterally but never takes away unilaterally so therefore God has, in, has consciously limited himself and said I'm not taking away unless I get the consent of others with me so the chesed which Hashem did in limiting when he's going to take away. He gives much more early than he takes back. And how do we know this? Beginning of the Kulam, the, 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 uh, the classic case from which we deduce this is it says, Hashem Diber I skipped. I'm Rabbi Lezer. Rabbi Lezer said, "Come back with Shnei Mar Vashem." Anybody says Vashem, who basically knows he and its court, his court. Begin being an avish kulam. The source of this is Pasuk Diber Yom, where it says, "Hashem asked his heavenly host, who shall I send to trip up Achav and make him go to war, where he'll ultimately die?" And one of the Ruchos says, "I'll go." The Ruch of Nova says, "Israeli says, I'll go trip him up." Then it says, "Vashem Diber Alecha Ra," and there it's Hashem together with his base. Then yes. He has to consult in order to do it. Right. That's been the, but and it's more than that, I think, because any if the base of Shemal agrees with him, we could say that clearly it's something which has a rationale even in human logic. Just that you at the moment might not be able to perceive it because of your subjective situation. In other words, words Hashem acting unilaterally would also be a chesed from Hashem, but it might be something beyond understanding like a chok. But if it says Hashem will base Dino, so it's telling us you should know that this thing which Hashem does, even though it seems to you negative, someone who was once human understood it, which means that it really is something which is intelligible if you just seek to understand it properly. Okay? Says the as now we have some more sort of peers in Sota in the Bavli as well. Uh, when you do the mitzvahs, do them from love of God and do them in fear of God as well. Do them with love. If you come to hate, 
dat yet always you know you love they know if Sony a lover does not hate and I, it's a strange thing I think what it means like this you know people love their spouses but there are times when they really hate their spouses it's no such thing every marriage has a time when you really hate your spouse but the thing is remember at that point that even though right now you're having trouble Lamai said most of the time you love her so therefore you keep on going so the same thing with Hashem if Rachman Litzlan at some point you feel some animosity towards Hashem nonetheless you know that the basic relationship is love and it gets you through, gets you through that, hard, that hard time similarly I say Meira do out of the fear of God she busts the Levite because sometimes with somebody you love you take liberties if you're in awe then you don't take such liberties. Dasha Yore, you know that you fear Vain Yore Mivai, and some who's in fear does not kick off the yoke which is on his shoulders. Shiva Prushime. There's seven ways in which people are abstinent, meaning that they abstain from this world and involve themselves in Torah mitzvahs. The first five are bad. Parush Shikhmi, Parush Nikvi, Parush Gizoi, Parush Man Yachi, Parush Edame Chavasi Vesena. Parashir and Parashava. We'll explain them all now. Parashichmi. What's a Parashichmi? Shichmi, Shechem is a shoulder. This is Toyin Mitzvosa Akisvos, a guy who carries his mitzvahs on his shoulder. In other words, he goes to show everybody, look what a big Tamil Chacham I am. Right? Look how many mitzvahs I do. Carries his mitzvah, where's mitzvahs on his sleeve, we would say. He carries his mitzvahs in public wherever he goes. Parash Nikvoy, this guy does mitzvahs. Nikvoy. What does that mean? Akifli, lend me money, von Avid mitzvah. He'll always go around borrowing money to mitzvahs and then he'll pay back very slowly. So be quick to borrow money to mitzvahs, but he'll be very slow to pay back, which is a hypocritical. Parash Kizoy. What's Parash Kizoy? He says, Avid Chayva, I did one Avera. The chara mitzvah, and I did one mitzvah. Umekaz is chara b'chara. I'll cancel out one for the other. So he does a lot of mitzvahs, but only to can't try and cancel out his averus. Okay. Parush mahan chayi anachye. He says, man the isli. We does when before this mitzvah says man the isli ma no. Uh, 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 what what j- benefit? Am I going to get from this minachi from this thing of it mitzvah if I do the mitzvah? In other words, he says, let me figure out what benefit or what advantage I'll get for doing the mitzvah, and then I'll go ahead and do it if it's worthwhile for me. Parish ede chavosi ve'aseno. This type of what does that mean? Hey, the chavosa of these. What have I done? Dive mitzvah chavosa that now I'll do a mitzvah. Uh, uh, which corresponds to it, which is similar to what we had before. These are all bad. Parush Yira, what's a good one? To be purged from the awe of Hashem Ki'iyof. Parush Ava, what's a good one? To separate oneself from improper activity. Ka'avram, like Avram Avinu. Parush Ein Chavi Kulam, and there's no greater one, El Parush Ava Ka'avram, than Parush Ava like Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu also Yetzar Atov. Avram Avinu was so much in love with Hashem that he made his Yetzar, all of his, his lusts were directed at Hashem. You see, it says, You found his heart trustworthy before you. Um, Rabbi Acharach said, Hey, maybe he hates it. Maybe he lost as a result. What did he lose? If he has no Bechira, there's no Nisyonis anymore. Maybe he gets no reward for all the mitzvahs he did. It's easy for him now, right? He has no more Yetzara. His Yetzara is also directed at Hashem. Says more, no. The El of the Charosimo Bris Vaches Gomer. Since it was by his own work that he sublimated his Yetzara, that's why I give him reward for all the good thing he does, even though now it's no longer Nisayan by him. That's talking after the tenth Nisayan. Abraham Vino already made his Yetzara completely good. From then on, all he did was Chatur and Mitzvahs. With Machlokas. Either the Akeda or the burial of Sora. One of those two. Okay? Abu David, he wasn't on such a high madrega. Loyal Chalamo, he couldn't keep the, he couldn't withstand the Yitzhara 
nor or change it. For therefore, Varogo Blibo, he had to kill it in his heart. He killed his Yetzirah. My time, why? What's the puzzle? She says this. For Libi Chalo, my heart is hollow within me. Let's just do a couple more lines. Rabbi Kiva Avakayim Mizdun Kame. Tunis Rufus Harusha. Rabbi Kiva was standing and being judged in front of Tunis Rufus, the evildoer. This is a famous mice in the Bavli, it appears in greater detail. Here it's a little bit shorter. This is its end. Raksas, Raksas, Ansa the Kriyashma. The time for Kriyashma came. Shari Kai Kriyashma. He began reading Shema. The Gachach, and he smiled. Amalei, so Tunis Rufus, the Roman governor, said to him, Saba, old man, either you're insane. Cherish like a cherish right of a cotton. He invite me or you don't care that I'm about to afflict on you terrible torture. So he said to him, Armale said, Rabbi Akiva said, Tipa Hulu Gavra, may your wind expire. Lo Kharashana, Kherishana, I'm not an idiot. Flow invite me nor do I just kick away at that uh, pain. I'll call you my crazy pasuk there. My rather my entire life, I read this pasuk for you see me tired, and I've been anguish. The volume, and I would say, a masa yoyva shlosh to liyadi. When will I be able to fulfill all three? For after such a melokecha, you should love God your Lord, bechol levavcha with all your heart, bechol nafshcha and all your soul, bechol modecha and all your 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 money or all all the midos. Rechanti bechol libi. I loved God with all my heart. I love God with all my money. I was never able to check myself out with my soul. And now, when it came to to a case where I have to give my soul, the time came, that's reading Shema, the Kochach and smiling. So he speak Loma, he didn't finish Shema at Shapor and Shema so until he expired. The Chemiyam Sunni Shimish is Rabbi Akiva Shimish Daim Shara. The Chemiyam Sunni learned in front of Rabbi Akiva 22 years. The Limdo and Rabbi Akiva taught him. Esim, every time it says the word es in the Torah, and the word vigamim, the word gam, ribuin, it comes to include something which is not explicit in the, in the parsha. Ach in the rock, in any time it says the word ach, or the rock, rock, or the word rock, it's an exclusion, it comes to exclude something not explicitly written. Amar le, so Nechemi asked Rabbi Kiva, ma'u ahem dechsiv, what is that, ma'u uh, hu? I hate to see what's that which says, as Hashem lo kechatira, as God your Lord, you should fear. By the way, the word S, I think I've told you this many times, is an extraneous word in the Hebrew language, and Ben-Gurion wants to do away with it. Because it said it doesn't have any meaning. So we do it here, we have this, but the meaning is that it's written in order to be marvelous something. So as it says, as Hashem lo what are you supposed to fear besides God? On my lay, Sabi Kiva said, Oh, so this Torah, so love God and love his Torah, meaning the Tamidah Chachamim. And I think we'll stop here for tonight. Okay, here are invitations for the scene tomorrow night. Oh, there are more. Where are the rest of them? I have more of my beef. You, you don't have to have tickets right now. Just invite your friends and neighbors. We're starting from a second tomorrow. Okay. We are on Daf uh, Samach Zion Base 134. We just finished with the death of Rabbi, Rabbi Akiva yesterday, and we're up to Pisgah, Loyako Odemus Rosho, which is two lines from the end of the narrow lines on 134. Pisgah, Loyako Odemus Rosho, a person should not be frivolous or lightheaded opposite the entrance to the base of Mikdash, Kule, etc. Tani, we learned, Amatu Mine. Somebody who urinates, Haresa Hopech Panov Klapit Safon, he should urinate towards the north. Hamesech Raglov, somebody who was supposed to, uh, who has to defecate, Haresa Hopech Panov Klapit Doro, he turns toward the south. So in that case, Suman means that he's the, the ends up defecating, urinating both towards the north, which is the least distinguished of all directions. East, west, and south are most distinguished. North is least distinguished, right? It says that the evil comes from the north, so therefore the north wind is bad. So therefore the north is the least of uh, beneficial of all directions. That's why you do your needs towards the north. 
Am Rabbi Yosi Bar Be Rabun, Rabbi Yosi the son of Rabun said, "Ha the Dharma must be that which the Mishnah the 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 Brites are saying that one has to be careful in which direction one urinates or defecates. Me not so feeling if that's only from uh, to, from Mount Scopus and in. In other words, in the immediate vicinity of Yerushalayim. But if you're further away, you don't have to care which way you urinate or defecate. Rabbi Kiva says anywhere you are." Regardless of proximity to Yushalayim, you should always urinate and defecate towards the north, not towards any directions. That's only true if it's a place where there are no walls. In other words, you're urinating or defecating out in the field. If you're doing it inside, within uh, 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 walls, like we almost always do, such as in our bathrooms, so it makes no difference. Tani, we learned in this respect also. of somebody who's who's uh, defecating. he shouldn't face frontwards to the east and backwards to the west. And let's turn it rather sideways, which is north south. Rabbi says it's only true in the base. Hamikdash is extant. says it only applies from Mount Scopus and inwards. It's everywhere. It's the place where there is no wall. I once went in after Rabbi Yeshua into a enclosed outhouse of some sort or bathroom, whatever it was, to see how he attended to his needs. So they said to him, Oh, Maraisa, what did you see? They said, I saw him sitting. Vitsido Klapi Marov and he was facing towards the west. Ding 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 ding. Wrong direction, right? So we see clearly that when you're in an enclosed area you don't have to care about which direction you're facing, right? Velo Pireachi Yashav he did not oh, uh, reveal himself until he sat down. Velo Yashavachiv Shave and he did not sit down until he wiped himself. It seems like one's supposed to wipe, but it was kind of like uh, to uh, supposed to wipe oneself before one begins. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe it allows one to defecate more readily. Vlokinech Biyamini would not wipe himself with his right hand, El Bismol, but rather his left hand, because the right hand is the hand with which you put on tefillin. Not on which you put on tefillin, but with which you put on tefillin. So therefore, one is not supposed to wipe oneself with that hand. So therefore, lefty does wipe himself with his right hand, not with his left hand. Okay? Av Shirim ben Azai Haya Omer, Rav Shirim ben Azai said also, Nichnas Yachar Rabbi Akiva, we know some I said, I followed Rabbi Akiva into the outhouse. They, see, they wanted to learn everything. Amr Lo, so they said, Marisa Vachuli, what did you see, etc. And he saw the exact same thing. Tani, we learned, Lo Yikone, saw them, Laharabai, it's a person should not enter into the Temple Mount, but me no lo, with his shoes, with the dust on his feet, nor with his his coins wrapped in his uh, in his uh, in his uh, in his, uh, in his uh, kerchief, and his pack upon him be on the outside. Why? Because this is all very. Uh, 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 it's not very, but it's improper. It's not with the proper respect for the place. My time with the bunch who tells us this. Shmoraglicho, watch your feet, even the dust on your feet. When you go to the house of God, Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehuda had a different pasuk from which he learned this. So Emer he says, "How Rei it says, 'By Yovah Alif Neishar Melech Mordechai came before the gate of the king, not into the gate of the king. King Lovah Neishar Melech one cannot come into the gate of the king. Bilvush sat in sackcloth. In other words, not dressed properly for the occasion." Omar, so he said, Rabbi Yitzhak said, Lifnei lechos rucha kach, this is true, in front of, um, in front of, um, in front of a, um, in front of a, uh, a, a human flesh and blood. Alachos kamakam v'nei shara mokam, how much more so is this true when you're going into the gate of HaKadosh Baruch Hu? Lo yas, so therefore, when, just like Mordechai, we're not going to a human court, king's court. Without the proper respect, so too one cannot go into the um, court of Hakadosh Baruch Hu without the proper respect. Says the Gemara, "Lechas Rucha" literally means a disgusting drop, which means that uh, yeah, human being comes from uh, from from disgusting drops of 
the drip of uh, all sorts of liquids which create the the, fe- uter- the the fetus. So in front of a human king, if this is the case, how much more so before God? Shortcut. And it certainly it goes without saying it's a kavachomer that one cannot spit in the base of Mikdash. How uh, says Gemara? Um, Mind the ilash you shall cover. It's put on shoes, which is a dignified thing. At Oimer also you're still saying it's put in the base of Mikdash. Rikika to spit, she shall be zoya, which is a degrading thing. Lokoshki is not a kavachomer that one cannot do the base of Mikdash. Tani, we learned. In the base of Mikdash, they would never say Amen on a bracha. Mayu Omrim, rather, what would they say in the base of Mikdash? We know this from the Yom Kippur Avoda. Baruch Shein Kvod Machus Elamvoid, since in the ineffable name of God was mentioned, they would say Baruch Shein Kvod Machus Elamvoid. Minayin Shaloyu Onim Omri Bam Mikdash. How do we know that they wouldn't answer him in the Mikdash? Tam Lomer, it says. Kumu Baruchu Es Hashem. It says, Arise and bless God. So whenever you come in the base of Mikdash, you bless God in a bracha. Our main doesn't bless God. Rather, what blesses God? Baruch Shein Kvom Um. Ramein means Kelman. Um. Kelman is Yes, but it's abbreviated. It's not. It's not. Uh, basically, uh, well, first of all, it's it's uh, abbreviation. Secondly, it's not an explicit blessing for God. It's an affirmation of the bracha which was made. But here, when you hear the the, the name of God in a blessing, the base of Mikdash, you can't don't just affirm, but rather you bestow blessing God in turn. Minayakob bracha bracha. I know this applies to each and every bracha because Talmud Lomer goes to post success. Umeromam God has uplifted our co bracha v'tila on each and every bracha and each and every praise. Amar Rabbi Yeshua the Rumia. Rabbi Yeshua of Rumia said. Shlosha Dvarim Gozu Basin Shamata, three decrees were made by the basin down below. The Hiskin Basin Shamali Moin and the basin on a high agreed with them. In other words, three decrees were made by human courts and the divine courts accepted these decrees. Where are these cases? Bele, these are they. Chermo Shel Yericho. When Yoshua made a decree that anybody who, uh, that nobody is allowed to take anything from the boot, boot, booty, from the loot of Yericho, right? There was a case where God agreed with that decree. When we give us Esther, God agreed with the decree that we have the, uh, the halacha to read Esther every year. And B'Shem HaShom B'Shem, that we greet each other with the name of God. These are all three decrees made by the, by the human courts, Whereby uh, will be up bus of Adam, where Hashem acquiesced. How do we? How do we know? No question. When yes. You said earlier that because the California not necessarily don't, don't we not spend the basic because yes, because we can't even put our shoes there. Right, but it's in a, uh, it's paying it some, sometimes in a low bazaar, we shouldn't. It is. Spitting is that what is there? No, spitting at certain idols were... Oh, so how... Well, well, it was considered... I don't think it was ever spitting at us. It was urinating at us, defecating at idols. I don't think I, I don't think spitting was ever for a void of as far as I know. Hey, who knows nowadays? But it good, I don't think so. So, uh, again, how do we know these three things? The uh, base in Shamal agreed. Charmo Shal Yericho, it says... By the Chen Yichov, when Ochan took from the loot, so Hashem comes to Yeshua and says, Chata Yisrael, the Jews have sinned. As the Velo Yeshua goes, I didn't Yeshua make this decree? Yeshua made the decree, so El how can it be a chait? El Malami teaches us, Yiskimu Basin Shomalo Imoen, that the basin on high agreed with the basin down below. Megillah says, how do we know about Megillah says, because it says, Kimu Vikibu, the Jews fulfilled and accepted. But uh, besides that, Rav Amar, Rav said, Vikibel, says Vikibel Ayyuhudim. Vikibel is written in singular. Vikibel means who accepted? Hashem accepted. See, Melame Chis Kimo, it teaches us that Hashem agreed with this. Vishel Shalom Bashem, how do we know the earl that uh, Basin Shamal agreed with this? 
that you could use Hashem's name in asking after people's welfare. It says, Nay, Boaz, Bobby Beis Lechem, Boaz, Kerem, Beis Lechem. When the Uminai and Shizki, that's where we saw that our Boaz did it. Uminai and Shizki, Mu Beis and Shomal, I don't know that the Beis and Mal, the greed of Boaz, Tamalon, because it says, Vayero, I love Malach Hashem. The Malach of God appeared to Gidon. Vayom, I love and said to Gidon, Hashem, Chal Gibor, Achayel, God is with you, the mighty warrior. So we see that the Malach adopted this Minog, which was instituted by Boaz, to say Hashem Imcha. Rabbi Avu Mishim Rabbi Shub and Levi Omer, Afa Maisus, even Maiser and Bayesheni, when it's only the Rabbanon, to give Maiser after the destruction of the face of first base of Mikhlas, only the Rabbanon. Yet nonetheless, God acquiesced to the decree, which is in, 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 in effect till today, that Midrabonim we take off Maisus even when there is no base on Mikdosh. How do we know that this is true? Shnemar it says, of Yus Kol Maiser, the prophet, Mi Malachi, who was in the second base of Mikdosh, demands in the name of God that all the Maiser be brought to the Yushalayim. It says, if you bring a Maiser, Hashem will give you a Brocha Ad Bli Dai. Mao Ad Bli Dai? What does Ad Bli Dai mean? Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Shimon, Bar Bob, Shem Rabbi Yossi said, Dava Shi'i of Shalom, there's something which normally we cannot say. Die, who bracha? To have no more is the bracha. In other words, there's so much bounty coming down that people say enough. It will be a blessing for us not to receive any more. Why are my sorrows broken? You need Rov Yosheva Yeah. yeah. That's why the Tzitz Eliezer, uh, we mentioned this in the morning, Dr. I mean, in the Bavli, we had this recently. Tzitz Eliezer holds that now, as Mana said, it might still be, it might be the rice again, since a, not a majority of Jews, but sufficient amount of Jews, 600,000, live in Eretz Yisrael, that it should be uh, the rice of Bismanaz as well. Okay, but he, he, he has a Kiddush that Rov can mean 600,000. But according to most Muslim Rov is Kipshuto, therefore since most Jews are now in America, you wouldn't have Mises the Rice and Eretz Yisrael. Okay? Says the Gemara, Rabbi Brechi of Rabbi Chelb of Rabbi Abba by Eloi, Bishem, we're up to Samachas and Malaf now, Bishem Rav say, Very close to Lachem Bracha, bleed, I will empty you, Bracha, until the, there will be no end. Achilus is so sechem, Ilomar, Dayenu Brachas, Dayenu Brachas. It'll be in the, you'll keep on your your lips will wear out from saying enough brachas, enough brachas. It says, do not be uh, 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 do not be embarrassed or do not uh, embarrass your old mother. become old in your mouth. In other words, you've learned them so many times already. Out of Oza to Uzalein. Don't be embarrassed about them or don't be, don't degrade them. Matayma, what's the positive of this? Out Tavos Kizikta Don't degrade them just because you've learned them so many times. You can always learn something new from them. Omar Rabbi Zira Zira said, In this dark Masecha, if your nation has become old, in other words, the nation has become habituated to rote observance of the mitzvahs and has become weary of proper Avodah Hashem, Amod v'gidara, arise and 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 seal up the 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 uh, breaches in your nation's uh, behavior. How so? Kishem shasa el kana, just like the father of Shmuel el kana did. She amid madrich es Yisrael lipame regalim used to take Am Yisrael to go up in his footsteps to the base hamikdash three times a year. Although the Sivan Savage says, Vala Ishmi Ro, the person will go up from his city. By the way, I want to point out something. This thing we find very rarely in the Talmud, either Talmudim, as far as I know, is that generally there's very little concern in the Talmud for the nation of Israel. There's a lot of concern for your fellow man, but very rarely does it speak about the Ummah. This is one of the rare times where you find that the, the Talmud is concerned with the Ummah Israelis, the nation, as, an, as a nation as opposed to a collection of individual Jews. All right. The word Ummah is a rarity. Says Umar, 
Eisla Sosla Hashem Eferotor. Secha. We said on Mishnah, the Prosuk says, it's a time to do for God because they have desecrated your Torah. Rabbi Nosson Messiah is cried. Rabbi Nosson turns the Torah, the Prosuk uh, backwards. He says, Eferotor Secha. Eisla Sosla Hashem. They can you can desecrate the Torah in other words you can de- deviate slightly from the accepted Torah norms at times when it is necessary to do things for God meaning that one can make special enactments if they are L'Shem Shemaim and going to overcome specific problems even if they deviate slightly from what were previously accepted modes of behavior Rabbi Chagum Shem Rabbi Simon said very interesting thing Hosa Toroso Itim we know that there's a word that says kavate itim la Torah. You have to set aside time for the Torah. The Yushami is against that. The Yushami says if you learn Torah at set times, ha-reza mefer bris. You're desecrating the covenant. My time, what Pastor teaches us, hefer ter secho eis la sosha You set aside time for the Torah. It's a desecration. So a lot of interpretations in this, but the Pash interpretation in my mind is that it means that you should learn Torah whenever you can. And so people say, okay, I have a Seder an hour or two a day, and the rest, then I go watch the Bulls game. Chas for sure. Right. <laughs> so in such a case, this person is That's it. Only the Etim, and later on, he goes home and he has fun. Right? So that means that there are only set times. That's a desecration. The person should be, take, steal whatever time he possibly can get above and beyond his set star him in order to set aside time to Torah. So Rabbi Yosef Engel says a fascinating thing. He says, the Bavli says, the first question they ask when you get to Shemayim is, Nosata v'nosata be'emuna? Did you look, were you honest your business dealings? And then they ask you, Kavata itim l'tara, were you kovei itim l'tara? So Rabbi Yosef Engel says, oh, the Peshat is, according to Shemayim, that's for a businessman. The first question they ask you is, oh, were you a businessman? Did you do deal in business? Okay, fine. Did you do it honestly? Since you're a businessman, so were you at least kovei itim l'torah? But if you're a tamid chacham, then it's very bad to be kovei itim l'torah. Then you should learn whenever you get a chance, right? That's a question. So that's a order of questions of nasatav and nasatav and muna. Then kabat itim l'torah. That's only for businessmen. That's for people who are working. For people learning, they ask him, "You kovei itim l'torah?" That's bad. Okay, so it's two different perspectives. Kultura? Yeah. Uh-huh. Just for say, you have to go above and beyond. The same idea. That's right. There has to be mysterious nefesh involved. No, it's, it's not a statement. No, that's true. We're not the, uh, uh, that we have to work is not a contradiction to what Rabbi Yosef Engel is saying. He's saying if you do work, at the very least, you should have set times. And it's not such a complaint against you if then you don't learn to be honest at times because you have limited time. But the issue is, especially if you're time of but even if you're a businessman, did you go above and beyond? Did you open up a safer when you had a spare moment? Okay? If you saw that people have given up hope on learning Torah, ma'od to a very great extent, amod you should be fortify yourself, stand up, fortify yourself. And if you learn Torah, despite the fact that they're not learning, you'll get all their rewards. In other words, it's proportional. It's so amount of reward for learning Torah which the generation gets. The more people learn, the more people split it up. The less people learn, the less people get it. My time, why? What do we have with Pasuk? I'm sorry, what Pasuk does? A fair to ourselves. Do you see the people of Desk Torah? A Hashem, it's a tie for you to go out to do for God. It's fascinating, no more, because here we see, uh, again, I, I don't know if it impresses you as much as it impresses me, but uh, uh, these are, these are, the the, the Bavli the Yushalmi is giving directions as how to lead a generation you very rarely see that in, in the Gemara you see personal conduct here their leadership 
issues being discussed it's like here. Pirkei but it's more than Pirkei Avos. It's, it's much of Pirkei Avos also. Most of the things are personal conduct issues. Here are really it's how to, national, 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 right? On national level, what to do. Who are Zokin or Yaimesh? Hello, Zokin used to say, Bishon de Mechanshin. When people are, when when Torah is, uh, uh, when when Torah is limited, I'm um, sorry, when Torah is being spread, and it's being spread to, to uh, or, I'm sorry, when, when Torah is, is limited, no, I was right the first time. When Torah is limited, when very few people are learning Torah, teaching Torah, right? The Chachamim in the generation are keeping Torah to themselves. Badar. In that said, that's a time when you should go out and spread Torah as much as possible. Because they're doing, they're they're limiting it. You should go and counterbalance that by going out and spreading it. On the other hand, b'shor the mevadrin, when people are spreading Torah very much, and then we need a few scholars in the ivory tower to go and be experts. So then, at that time, you uh, uh, you uh, you you knosh. You can go here and learn by yourself and make make yourself an expert. So you see that you should always. Do that which the generation is missing. The Chene Yohil or Soto Hill said a similar idea, but not quite the same thing. Here he says, "I tell you, she chaviva Yisrael. If you see the Torah, that it's precious by Am Yisrael, far close mechim, but everybody rejoices. But there, then you should teach. Vimlav, however, if not, kenosh. Then keep Torah to yourself, regardless of what's happening. Keep the Messiah of Torah going. All right, Belazer Belazer says." Matino Khazet Sarakli Nak Bukhol Shah, just like a child, the, and there's no telling what point of the day he can want to nurse a young infant. Kakolodim should be sold so to any Jew. Sarakli Gabatar Bukhol Shah Shibayom. Like we said before, not to be Kove Itim with Torah. Anytime you get a hunger, you should go and you should learn a little bit of Torah. Rabbi Yoyin Abashem Rabbi Yesi Ben Gezeira said, Kol Pitataya Bishin, all Babel is bad. Pitataya Daraisa is time in Babel and Torah is good. So I saw one shot of this is that Purim Torah. To Babel and Torah is a good thing, right? Because Purim Torah, even if it's Babel, even if it's nonsensical, as long as it's in Torah, it's a good idea. Rabbi Trotsky, my I really want to say this is referring to Drush. Drush is Babel. But uh, you're allowed to say Jerusha anyway. A rabbi can get up and say Jerusha and show a sermon. So despite the fact that it's Babel, so nonetheless the person can say it. Okay? Right. One could also say Chesidah uh, Shavart, the same idea. Chesidah Shavart, it's not Amish Pshat and Pasuk. It's never Pasuk and Pshat Pasuk. But it teaches you an idea. So as long as the idea is good, even if it doesn't exactly fit into the text, that's a Pitataya the right, and that's good. Okay, similarly, Kokadvaya Bishin, all lies are bad.